Greetings, friends. It's your old pal, Effing Controller, playing another old Mac game. And I realize that sometimes when I take us on one of these fun little jaunts into old Mac gamedom, that uh, it's it's sometimes like reaching into a candy jar that is at one of your elderly relatives' house, houses, whatever, and you, you reach in there and you pull out a piece of candy that is like from the Great Depression. But this time I am... We're pulling out a treat that is probably something more like a, a, a Milky Way Dark. I, I don't know why that came to mind. I love Milky Way Darks. I am in no way receiving any compensation from the people who make those delicious candies known as Milky Way Darks. Buy Milky Way Dark. No, but seriously, this is a really excellent game called uh, FA-18 Hornet, and it is about the FA-18 Hornet, um, which is... I, I don't know if there are very many um, fighter planes or attack planes in the... Uh, U.S. military that have both the F and the A designation, but there's a reason for that. It is a ridiculous uh, aircraft. It has all these hard points that you can attach all kinds of bombs and uh, missiles and swords and exploding cattle and stuff. It, it, it's, it's insane. So um, it's a, the flight sim, though, is actually made by the same people who made Hellcats, which is one of the games that I've played on here previously, and uh, it bears a not-so-passing resemblance to Hellcats, but it is definitely an improvement in oh so many ways, and it's also a completely different aircraft, uh, which does some really cool shit, which I will show you forthwith uh, after we review our dossier. Um, we have our name here as Effing Controller, and our call sign is Jocker. I don't know why it's Jocker. We are spelling challenged, I guess. Um, let's see. Our mission is, in, is codenamed, I guess, Black Gold is what I call coffee, so I don't know if there's any coffee involved, but if there is, I'm there. Our mission notes are that uh, an enemy refinery has been producing a large quantity of fuel for the war effort. Um, NATO has decided to cut off this supply of necessary fuel and fuel oil. Who, who cares? <laughs> now they're manufacturing fuel oil? Fuck those guys. Uh, we gotta basically go destroy this uh, refinery. Uh, or as much of the facilities as we can, and I think I will take them up on that. Let's fly Kuwait. Oh, and uh, let's look at the map. Just so you guys can kind of figure out, this is based off of Desert Storm. Um, you can see that we're in Kuwait, and then we're going to be attacking a target in Iraq. So let's see. Let's go to fly Kuwait. And here's what I'm talking about with the Hornet being totally ridiculous. It can carry just an obscene amount of ordnance. We have... We have these guys. We've got these assholes. We've got this motherfucker here. This thing is actually really cool. It has a camera mounted at the front, so you can point it with a TV camera and target it that way. It's, it's kind of neat. And then uh, I like these ones here because they've got little nipply tips. Uh, and I, 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 like, I just like how they look. What? Leave me alone. Let's fly. <laughs> Before I say more nipply tips. Say nipply tips again. I said it again, I apologize. So this is our Hornet, looking pretty spiffy. And you know, this is 1994 here. This is not bad looking, as far as I'm concerned. If you don't agree with me, you're an idiot. There. <laughs> All right, well now that I've alienated a good chunk of my subscriber base. Oh my God, what is happening? <laughs> Why are we backwards? <laughs> That's not how you take off a plane. Oh God. What the fuck? I think it's because I used the mouse or something. If you bump the mouse, it does horrible things to you. Good lord. Okay. Well, everything's fine now. And we're going to take off. Aren't we? There we go. Very important to put your gear up as soon as possible because if you go past about 300 miles an hour, you will start to damage it and might get stuck and... It's not pretty. I don't know how I found that out. Certainly not by experience. Wink, wink. Okay, so there's a beeping sound. That means that something has a radar lock on us already, which is not very polite. But um, we've turned on our radar, and we have a little dot on the bottom right. I'm going to target it, and we can be super cheaty and take a look at it. It is a MiG. I don't know what type of MiG that is. I can't remember. It's like a MiG-17 or MiG-21 or... A MiG-69. Nah. But he's possibly not the only thing that is um, giving us a radar contact. I'm reverting to Silent Hunter talk here. Um, you can see now I'm using a different radar. This is ground radar. 
And we have something else here on the ground that is using radar against us. And fittingly enough, it is a radar truck. So your truck is fucked, my friend, because the Hornet is completely ridiculous when it comes to dealing with anti or with dealing with radar targets. We have the AGM-88 selected now as our weapon. And I'm going to be using it forthwith because I don't want to um, get shot, <laughs> basically. It's, it's either us or them. So the 88 will uh, lock onto a radar um, emitting target and completely destroy it. Hopefully. Maybe. Sometimes they do miss. It's been known to happen. And once he gets, I think, within about nine and a half, ten nautical miles, we'll be able to shoot this thing. Come on. Come to daddy. It'll say in range, I think. There we go, yeah. Okay, bottoms up. Yeehaw! I'm sure that's what they say in the Navy when they shoot something. Bottoms up! Look out teeth, look out gums! Um, let's go to the other radar and get, get our eyes on this fella. We can actually follow our um, missile here. Just to see if it hits. Don't hit the water! Yay! Um, that was a miss. Great gerb! Um, we're gonna have to deal with that again here, I guess. But we're gonna deal with the plane! The plane! The plane! Oh, we're already in range. Well, okay then. You can see how sometimes this gets a little bit frenetic. Oh, damn. Ha <laughs> ha! That's not a good sound at all. Let's turn on electronic countermeasures because we're being shot at. Oh, God. Chaff flares. There we go. That's what they are. I think I hit something. Right? God. No. 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 Stop shooting at me. Fuck off. <laughs> Still got a lock on me. I'm out of chaff. Flares. I <laughs> just spam the button. I really don't know how to avoid these very well apparently. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, well, that's... that. I'm pointing at it with my hand. Right in the middle of our reticle here is where we're getting shot from. So, let's see. That's a missile coming at us. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's deal with this right now. Do it again, do it again. God damn it. Okay. Let's see if that hits. Got fucking close enough that time. Thank you. All right. So everything's fine. <laughs> oh, there's a missile that almost hit us. <laughs> Everything is fine. Oh, dear God. Well, that must be the plane that we shot down over there, that plume of smoke. I'm just going to assume it's certainly not going to be a piece of our aircraft or anything. Um, this should be actually the installation that we're coming up on. So I'm going to get to our, our TV camera bomb here. Turn that sucker on. And I would... We would know for sure if we got hit. It's, it's a very unmistakable sensation. Actually, this is not the installation. This is the installation over to our right here. Right? Yes. Just use autopilot there to confirm that. Because I'm a brilliant strategist and so on. Okay, so moving the camera over here. We could probably just point and shoot at this point, but let's see if we can't we'll target somewhere in between these two buildings here. We're in range. Firing. Go. Stupid camera. Oh, we hit something. 
Let's see if we can look. Oh, we might have overshot it already. Well, that's not very smart. Let's look in our rear view here. Oh, we did hit something. Let's... We should have probably slowed down a little bit so that I could have, you know, used two bombs on that run. But that's okay. You can see that we did some uh, significant damage there. Something's on fire. Wee! Victory roll! Blah! You can actually black out and red out in this game. Might as well do that just for the hell of it. Oh, God! And then we're going to red out here. Maybe. That's not how you usually do that. <laughs> you don't usually go into a dive quite that way to red out. It's done like this. There you go. I'm sure that you fart when you read out. <laughs> I'm not an expert on these kinds of things, but I'm 99% confident that when you read out, you blast ass all over the place. All right, so let's see. I'm going to slow down a teensy bit. Actually, steering will, uh, turning will make us slow down anyway. Okay, let's go back to this sucker. Move our camera. There we go. Zoom it in. And there's something over here, I think. Right? Oh, there's another building. Uh, I like the looks of this one here. Go for it. Okay. And then we're going to use one of our other bombs. Our GBU. And they're um, actually the game or the hornet will uh, automatically drop the bomb when it is time see nailed it um, let's whoa 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 we can pull up a little bit and drop that one got a little bit low there reason I did that is that you can get hit by your own bombs very easily. Uh, that was also probably kind of a dumb idea because there were possibly anti-aircraft uh, guns and stuff there, but I think we dealt with that. That installation looks uninstalled. Ah! Ah! Let's go home. Oh, not, not that waypoint. Not that waypoint. That waypoint, thank you. Okie dokie. So, let's see. Is there anything else on our radar? I haven't really been paying very good attention to that. Let's turn off the autopilot and do a quick sweep behind us. And black out again, just for good measure. And I think we're good. Okay, let's go home. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a, a distance to get home. So I think I'll cut things here and I'll meet you guys once we're about to land. Okay, we're about to make a turn to go into our landing here. Whoa, a little bit of a hiccup there for some reason. Uh, I've got this going a little bit too slow. I'm gonna have to open up the throttle a touch. And that's good. We'll just go over here a little bit. Point towards the mountain. All right, getting lined up, ready to rock. Okay, so our our uh, very clever little uh, plane here has this thing called an ILS, which is probably short for Idiot's Landing System. But um, bump. Um, it actually will do quite a bit to help you land, but um, doesn't help you too much if you are land or if you're coming in too fast. So you can use your brake, actually, to take care of that. Um, I need to steer over here. Slow down. Now you have to be very careful when you deploy your gear, because if you are going too fast, you will uh, damage your gear. There we go. 
Okay, I'm coming in too steep. Oh, I did it. Kind of. Oops. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> well, that wasn't exactly the prettiest landing ever. But I'm beautiful on the inside, and that's what counts. So we've landed! We're alive! Go us! Yay! Report from Hornet Squadron Commander to USN Ensign. Effing controller. Congratulations on safe return. New kills. Fighter. One. Uh, helicopter. Ground seven. Wowie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Offense. Wow. Didn't want to be so offensive. But I can't help it. The refinery was completely destroyed and our promotion is approved. We're millionaires. Yay, we get a window office and everything now, I'm sure. All right, so we're now a Lieutenant JG. We're not a Ensign anymore, which means we don't die on every away mission. That's great. Well, um, I liked doing this. This was a nice little jaunt back, uh, back into my gaming memory. If you guys want me to play this again, I'd be happy to. Um, just because uh, this is a little bit easier to approach compared to Hellcats, for me at least. So um, uh, this has been Effing Controller playing FA-18 Hornet. And uh, I'll see you guys again over the sunny Iraqi skies, uh, possibly, again. We'll see. Who knows? Who can say?